Yesterday, we began talking about equivalent fractions. We said that equivalent fractions were fractions that have the same value. What does that mean? What does it mean for two fractions to have the same value? I think it's helpful to think about it visually. So yesterday, when we were looking at fractions, we looked at them as bar models. I notice that this model on the left that represents one, two, thirds, and this model on the right that represents one, two, three, four, six, are actually equivalent. The same total amount is shaded pink. So I know that the fraction two thirds and the fraction four sixths are equivalent fractions. Yesterday, we also looked at pizza. We said, imagine that we had a pizza cut into four pieces and a pizza cut into two pieces. The pieces on the left are smaller and the pieces on the right are bigger. So altogether, it looks like I actually ate the same amount of each pizza. Eating two fourths of this pizza was equivalent to eating one half of this pizza. Either way, it was the same amount of pizza. Today, you're going to keep looking at equivalent fractions, but you're going to do it by using fraction strips. Fraction strips are just kind of a fun way to explore fractions and compare fractions to see are they equivalent or not. So let's look at a few together. On this website that you're going to go to, you can drag the pieces from the bottom up to the top. So I just dragged up one hole to use it as my total that I'm thinking about. All right, I'm gonna drag one third up to the top. I wanna know if one third is equivalent to two fifths. So I have one third and now I'm going to drag up one, two fifths. Well, those are not the same size. If that was pizza, it looks like my two fifths would be more pizza than my one third. These are not equivalent fractions. Now, instead of comparing to two fifths, I'm going to try comparing to two sixths. Let's take my fifths away, just drag them down to the bottom, and I'm going to drag up one, two, six. Sure enough, one third and two six are equivalent fractions. They would be the same amount of pizza. What about two thirds and four six? I have one third, let's drag up one more third. I have two six, let's drag up three, four six. Sure enough, these are equivalent. They represent the same amount of pizza. Two thirds is equal to one, two, three, four, six. What about three thirds? One, two, three thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yep, they're the same. They represent the same amount, the same value. They're equivalent fractions. As you play with these fractions today, you're going to ask yourself, are they equivalent or are they not equivalent? Remember, when we had our fifths, we said those were not equivalent. The reason was because they took up different amounts of space. They had a different value. So you'll ask yourself today, do the fractions have the same value or not?